Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 15. All right, the previous episode. We uh, met Lysark, a new character and he has his own uh, you know, backstory, his own problems and he wanted some allies to actually like, you know, go and defeat Hao. But the way he actually wanted to recruit ally, allies was a little bit different than we actually do we actually go and talk to the person and say hi how are you and would you like to be my ally because i want to defeat this guy and i've heard that you are also like you know like aiming on defeating this guy so enemies enemy friend that's how you make actually i think you make um allies but he <laughs> he goes in and he says that i'm going to defeat you and that's how like he wants to make allies like I, obviously he he does not know how to do that like you know he he has never i'm guessing he has never before like you know uh, he had never ever tried to actually interact with some person in a like you know in the way that we actually do when we need some help like he does not know how to actually request help so that's how he kind of went in his own way and he thought that yeah this will be a good idea unfortunately yo is very particular about his own allies and when he saw that yeah this guy is actually harming my friends he went he got he got mad and he actually like you know defeated him very badly so by the end of it he actually learns that the way he was actually doing is kind of not the way you should try to make friends so <laughs> yeah and by the end of it everything is okay now he'll be our new teammate i'm guessing and <clears throat> we also saw his backstory like why he is like you know going like trying to defeat how all that stuff so yeah now he's like he's now our friend and he'll be joining us so that's all well and good and then in the end we get a little section where we see uh like you know what the actual like who how actually is and we actually got to know that how is supposed to be the founder of the Asakura family, I think. Asakura Hao, there's this whole big place where the grandfather took Anna to and he'll be explaining stuff to Anna. So I'm guessing we're also going to know more backstory on him. So yeah, so let's get started. This is episode number 15 of Shaman King. So without further ado, uh, let's start. All right, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sing it to whichever is your preference. And let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I, I remember the enemy. Oh, enemy. enemy well like obviously how is our enemy i know that but wasn't he the one who founded asakura family so uh, i kind of said this in the previous episode as well i think it's most probably something like he founded the asakura family but like you know by the end of it he Yes, he started going in a different direction in the path of walking started walking in the path of evil or something that's why the family members they thought that okay we need to stop him and defeated him and sealed him something like this must have happened i'm not sure let's see otherwise like why would he be sealed if he is the one who founded the family Well, I'm assuming that he founded the family that but his name is Asakura. So and I think they mentioned, didn't they, that he's the founder. OK, I'm getting confused now. Let's just just wait. I'm sure they'll answer. All right, let's see. Oh, wait, she's what the 
She's spying on them. <laughs> yeah, they already know. Yeah, she he's most probably in some kind of suspended animation or something. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the guy who was keeping an eye on them. Competing in his... Uh, yeah. Meaning? Five elements. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, see the. Oh, my God. Hmm, okay. Emperor's official diviners. Yeah, there you go. That's what I was saying. Like, must something must have happened. Alright, so he must have got, seen some kind. There you go. Tizen Fukun. Oh, okay. Reincarnation. Oh, Enma. Look at the god. The... Okay. To stop him. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, Tamo's here. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Oh, uh, yep. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, we have means. Defeat him. This is how it is. Okay. House descendants. Problem. What? Oh! Oh! Well, that's a problem. Zenki and Goki. Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> they're, they're chasing them. <laughs> oh, she's learning.
Wait, didn't he say that only uh, people from the Asakura bloodline can... What? Wait a minute, am I... Well, but he, she does not, she has, does not have the same blood. Oh no, it affected him. Oh. Yeah, that's nasty. <laughs> Wow. Okay, she's she I'm not sure if that's a male or a female. Traumatized. Oh nice. I was thinking like Okay. <laughs> Kino. Wait, who is this? Is this Kino? Where did she come from? Oh, that was... <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> they're having fun here. Yeah. And she has a snowboard, so... <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, the morphine. Yeah, that's her name. Okay. Why is her name morphine? Oh no. Wow, that's <laughs> Ryu is like, oh my god. <laughs> um oh wait oh damn she's sad um are you okay will you be okay Oh no! Um. Ooh, what is this place? Oh. Hmm. Whoa, what is this? Oh, okay, a lot of tourists. Hmm. 
<laughs> Hold on, it is not here. Yeah. And it's going to be a long wait, I'm guessing. Oh, three days already. Um. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh no! True, very true. <laughs> Wait, he's walking. Oh, okay. Apple? Oh, okay. Apple, interesting name. Damn, she... Uh, yeah. Oh, that's why I... Uh, okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. It's not for his safety, but Apollo's safety. He is not wrong. But, yeah, emotions. Human emotions. Hmm. I'm guessing within these days, Anna is going to catch up with them or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I was thinking he and she are quite similar because both of them want to, like, you know, protect the nature. And... Oh, this is okay. Whoa, what is this? Is this some new dress or something? Huge! Wait, what? Did he bring... Did he bring... Alcohol with him? Okay, well, negotiations failed, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's from the uh, I knew. Yeah, I need culture. Mm. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. What? Oh! Oh no! He's right! Oh my god, that's sad! <laughs> oh wow okay yeah Oh! What the hell? Oh my god! What? Yeah, the Ainu culture, uh, the Ainu culture, if you kill something, you have to, like, you know, yeah, oh my god. <laughs> ah, it's just a hobby, wow. Yeah. Oh, what the hell is wrong with these guys? Are they like, really like, what? Hmm. 
God, what the hell? What was... This is a really amazing ending. Hmm. All right. Well, yeah, that was it. <sighs> well, I I was not expecting that at all. Like it suddenly like happened without even any warning. <sighs> all right. Okay. This episode. Uh. Okay. First of all, we get to know about uh Asakura how who he is and um like like uh, as i said before uh it's kind of what i thought it actually was that uh asakura how was the founder and like you know like because of her his powers and all he was a very big what can i say like one of the very respectable persons even the like you know the kings and the royalties even got his help but then he according to yo's grandpa he must have saw something he must have seen something which made him take the decision of actually destroying the humans and making a world for the shamans now like my i don't know like it is the thing that he saw most probably is something related to shamans i'm guessing like you know like maybe the humans someday will i don't know do something to the shamans like something like make them leave their place or i i don't know like something like humans must have done something to the shamans in the future maybe he saw some kind of like you know future prophecy or something and that kind of made him take the decision of actually wiping out the humans and making a world for the shamans i'm not sure uh it, it might be something like that but who knows maybe there's some other explanations i'm sure we'll get to know in the future but uh, the main thing here is that he decided to do that and that's why the Asakura family decided to stop him. They stopped him and sealed him. But unfortunately, he got out of the seal and he was able to you know, reincarnate in the future. And he reincarnated, I think, two, more than two times, I, I think. But one of the times was uh, when we saw in, in the previous episode where he himself said that i reincarnated uh, to actually get the fire spirit and then now like you know currently he's also a reincarnation and this time he's trying to uh, fight in the shaman fight to actually become the shaman king and if he becomes a shaman king i'm sure he'll get like you know some kind of like, obviously he's, he's going to get an immense power and that's how he'll be able to wipe out the humans and make a world for the shamans only so something like that i think that's probably his way of thinking so that's why he's fighting in the shaman fight but yeah and uh, we got we got now okay one thing uh i should check out here is the the book just a sec um that the grandpa talks about okay here it is to defeat how we sealed something away so that house great Sins could not be repeated. Um, all the spells how used are inscribed in this book. The Chosenji Ryaketsu. 
if we break the seal and learn all the secrets stored within we may have a chance against how okay and however only how's descendants can use these spells just a sec i think here's a mistranslation isn't it correct me if i'm wrong let me just listen to that portion again no 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 there's no mistranslation i was thinking like when he was saying the asakura no mono i was thinking like he was talking about only the asakuras you know but like i i noticed that he actually says that uh just a sec where is it chiu hiku that means someone who has inherited the blood asakura no mono yeah so the people who have inherited the blood uh who is of who is asakura's like you know descendants like if he only said that asakura's like you know only asakura's would be able to use that i would think that okay that's why anna was able to use it because technically she is one of the asakura's now you know she is his fiance so i would have thought that okay that's what but here he specifically says that only like you know he says that chiyo hikumono that means the person who has inherited the blood who has the blood of asakura's now okay one thing yeah he, he says that he says that uh, uh, the person who has inherited the blood of the asakuras so how how did anna use it like she's only like fiance like uh, yours fiance like she does not have the same blood she's not like you know uh what do you call that uh she, 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 she yeah she is an asakura like obviously after obviously after she marries uh yo she'll become an asakura and she's technically an asakura now but they don't have the same blood flowing through them so i don't know like that's one thing that kind of confused me because after that when the seal you know falls down now obviously i think like, you know it, it was so old the book was so old that the seal kind of went became like loose or something and it fell down <laughs> and you know and then zenki and goki the, the two shikigamis of um uh, of how they come out and anna actually just a sec what does okay demon submission that's what she says isn't it like he takes she takes the book and reads some kind of spell from it and says demon submission and uses the spell and defeats the two of them now here's the thing like this is that what is confusing me how was it anna able to use that like let me know in the comment section if it's if it's not any spoilers you know if it's a spoiler like you don't have to let me know but uh, like you know if it's something that is not spoilery uh, please let me know because i'm a bit confused here like how was she able to use it then and obviously that kind of after that it kind of rebounds back to how and how gets injured like that's interesting like you know like if like the shikigami that you're contracted to if they die like it'll be um reflected oh damn i noticed something here <laughs> how is wearing a gloves which on which it's also written how what the hell <laughs> oh no anyways okay um all right and then uh we meet a new character here kino i'm not sure where she was but she was here she came out and she i think she's the master of anna or something like that and now anna and tamao actually goes to, uh, to bring the book back to how uh, to yo now um, i think like i was thinking like if they actually like they're obviously going to spend a lot of time uh, in the tournament so like like we won't get to see anna then like i was thinking like she's one of the main characters so like what will happen like are we again going to see anna after uh, like you know the tournament ends but that will be a lot of time later on so but now like i got my answer she's going to like, you know transport that book and that's how they're going to meet and i'm guessing that after that they'll kind of uh go together uh i'm not sure like i think it's something like this is going to happen 
and anyways and we also get to know that uh, the grandfathers also uh, sent the package which we saw in the previous episode to yo uh, so that was what that actually was yeah and then we get to the next portion of the uh, story where episode where like horo horo actually uh tries to have some fun but unfortunately like due to like kororo's like you know the koro was a little bit lonely <laughs> unfortunately like you know hororo falls down <laughs> and breaks his legs all that thing and uh, yeah and then like the next part portion of the story starts where we get the backstory of the the lady who actually saved him and apollo mm. now okay so like even though horo horo says stuff like yeah like humans are also part of the nature like uh, after i heard uh, the lady's story i like i could like uh, that moment i actually realized that yeah she and horo horo are very similar because both of them want like you know something to do for nature so that like you know nature is not harmed and they have some kind of emotional bond with uh, like you know like with the nature like like for example this lady has emotional bond with the bear and horo uh, horo horo has emotional bonds with you know uh, with his hometown and all that stuff the, the 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 thing that he wants to make i forgot the name his actual goal the field of something he said i forgot I always forget the name but yeah so that and horo horo actually goes and tries to negotiate with the bear <laughs> not negotiate but actually has like you know heart uh, kind of like a heart to heart talk and now i think like horohoro was perfect for this because as we know like horohoro is one of the ainus and i'm sure most of you know but like i got, like my uh, you know uh, knowledge of the ainus is from golden kamui like golden kamui really goes deep into the whole ainu culture so like like you know like from that i know that and the ainus are really respectable to the nature you know like they believe as he said as he himself explained that we believe that there's god in everything the water the like you know especially the forces of nature the water um the wind the fire all that like you know even the wolves like different like you know all the forces of nature anything nature has god in it and they believe that so like you know I, like that's kind that kind of shows that he's perfect for this he goes to uh, apollo and kind of you know has a little conversation and i was really surprised to actually understand why apollo was kind of acting like you know the way he acts because it's not that he's just a grumpy bear he's he's not he's actually stressed out about the fact that he wants to go back but he cannot because of the wound and the smell that he has uh, like you know uh, interacted with the humans now i i i like i've heard about this before as well like especially like you know animals like whenever uh, like you know some animal this some animal in the wild if somehow like they get into contact with a human or something the human feeds him or her and like you know like takes care of them or does something and after that like if the animal goes back to his or her herd they ostracize you know kind of like don't like you know what do you call them ostracize yeah ostracize him uh, and like the the animal loses its place in the herd so it's kind of sad actually like you know like so like similar thing happened here that's why like you know uh, apollo was kind of so grumpy because he wanted to go back but he cannot and like sad like that was really sad and then comes the three douchebags who just wanted to hunt and like obviously we like there are people like this all of us know so like you know who actually hunts for just having fun like you know sport like you know like as a hobby like that's messed up so like as as horo horo said like in the beginning horo horo was like okay like he died like nothing else we can do this is like the survival of the fittest and okay like you know like and he says that okay like you guys killed him take him people they said that oh, we're not going to take them let's run away uh, it was just like something we did for a hobby that's when horo horo gets mad now here's the thing like as i said like 
like this is more like you know this happened more because he's an ainu like ainus believe that ev- there's god in everything and like from golden kami one thing i got to know is that whenever they kill some like you know animals or like you know like for for food like they they, they do not do stuff like killing for fun never they do that they obviously they kill animals but at the same time they give like you know pay their respects to the animal uh, take the animal and use each and everything you know they as far as i know they don't waste anything you know each and every part of the animal they use in some way and like you know give it the utmost respect and like like you know and like do, they do do it like that and that's like their main thing say so, and they don't kill animals just for fun they kill animals only for food or only for some kind of like you know other necessity or if they are being attacked they like you know for self defense they kill them and also like after killing them take the, them back use all of the animal parts up all that stuff there's a lot of things like it's like this is a thing of like you know like they give a lot of respect to the nature and like like it's very like like it's something like that so saying something like that in front of horo horo like the the poachers they say that oh just for fun like yeah like haha something like that and obviously he's going to get pissed off and like then hororo goes to like you know goes towards them and they're so stupid they actually fire at hororo like what the hell like anyways um like they they were like like if that was not hororo they would they would have killed a person at that moment like like these like you know like these type of people should not be given a gun in my opinion but anyways like stupid people are there in this world and these three characters are like one of the biggest example of them and like i was really shocked when like you know they shot the bear and i was really not expecting that they were like having a little good time like they was licking the wound and they were like you know, coming into an agreement and suddenly like these three comes out and shoots the bear <sighs> but anyways um yeah that happens and like hororo goes and like I, I i for a moment i thought he was really going to kill them but like he did not thankfully and like as he said like if i kill them i'll become like them so i don't want that and uh, yeah so like they really messed up especially in front of an i knew that they the the thing that they pulled that yeah this is just for hobby like you shouldn't like they should not have done that in front especially in front of an ainu and uh, yeah so yeah and that happens and then like they go back and okay butterbur okay i, I need to remember that uh, a butterbur field uh yeah his dream and then the lady says that you'll be someday you'll be able to create a butter bird field that no one will be able to destroy yeah and i think like the, the day that they're actually spending here like you know the three days and i i'm thinking like maybe in these few days anna is actually going to catch up with them and like you know maybe like close the distance and then they're going to meet and then like they'll advance i don't know let's see let's wait for the future episodes so yeah that was it guys that was my reaction to um Chaman King episode number 15 so yeah if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of Chaman King so until then goodbye and have a nice day